<clears throat> shalom, shalom, all praises and glory goes to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bukakadash, Shalom, Labakayim, Shah, Yasharala, Shalom to the elders, double honors to my teachers and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, man, all praises to them, man. Hey, the, may the Lord, may the Lord bless them and protect those great men. And all you sincere brothers, man, may the Lord protect you and your family, you know, and, and you sincere brothers and sisters as well. I, uh, man, one of my, uh, thinking out loud, man, you know, thinking out loud, you know, and, um, you know, I'm here in Plantation and, um, hey, man, we, we, hey, man, just thinking out loud, like I always say, man, whatever comes in your mind, sometimes just put it out, record it, and then just post it, man, you know? And um, everything you see, man, all of this is going to be, uh, all of this is going to be wiped out, man, you know? And today's a nice refreshing day. You know, it's a nice day, and you got the trees, you know? And, um, you know, you got the bee, you got animals, the birds are chirping, singing. You know, the sky and the clouds are nice. You know, you got grass. You know, and it's a refreshing day. It actually has a nice wind today, you know. But that wind, uh, 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 pursuant to um, Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 1, it, it, it's going to become a destroying wind, okay? And um, that's going to be the destruction that the Heavenly Father, through His Son, Yahabah Shem Yahashah, is going to uh, uh, make happen. In this place, Babylon the Great, man, the mother of all harlots, will be uh, destroyed. Everything you see, man, all the buildings, the windows, hey, Second Peter's talk about the elements, and everything that you see is, is, is made out of elements, man, you know? And it's going to be destroyed, melted away. The scripture talks about uh, Ezekiel chapter 22 goes into how the Lord is going to melt, <clears throat> literally melt our people, man, two-thirds of our people. And one of the fears that I have of the Heavenly Father is because I know his power. And I know that the Lord is a balanced father. He loves us, but he also hates iniquity. Scripture talks about he, his, his face cannot, fa he cannot face iniquity. He cannot, his eyes are not able to uh, see wickedness, man. You know, but the Lord hates it and he's going to uh, destroy all, all, all men, all the children, all the, all the elderlies a part of the two thirds. That's a dangerous and scary thing. And I don't want to be part of that. You know, the Lord, it, it, brothers, I always say it, you, you, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Abba Yahweh, beg the Lord. You know, in supplication, ask him, Father, have mercy on me and, and continue to work with me. Please do not, Baba Kasha, don't take out the Rakakat, Rakakadash, the Holy Spirit, because we need that. The Holy Spirit is what's, the Holy Spirit, it's uh, our battery power, man. It's our connection between us and the Heavenly Father through, through the mediator. You know, the ultimate angel, the top angel, our mediator, our savior, you know what I'm saying, Yahweh Shai, man. So, <clears throat> hey, man, at the end of the day, man, you know, um, you know, like I said, everything you see, man, is going to be destroyed. It's going to be melted away, you know, and that's a scary thing, you know. This place is going to be, um, it's going to be a, a, a desolate desert everything man nothing is going to exist here man the fire that's coming from the chariots the angels of the heavenly father scriptures say that uh psalm 68 verse 17 that the angels of the most eyes are ten thousands upon thousands man so when they come here man and they invade this place you know they're going to shoot down fire man concentrated fire and then you're going to have the, uh, the arrows that the Bible describes. And those are the missiles that's going to hit this place. This is reality, brothers. This is a sure thing. This is factual. 
This is biblical. And this will happen. And I don't want to be part of this. So brothers got to start gearing up, girding up your loins and asking the Heavenly Father, Yahabashim Yahusha, to continue to work with us. That we can uh, endure to the end, man, and be saved. I want to be saved. And the Lord knows it, man. But this place is going to be destroyed. It is fact. You know? Now, while you got other groups, you know what I'm saying, uh, other camps and other brothers out there playing around with this truth, you know, not taking it uh, very serious, you know, well, you know, they're going to be caught up in that destruction. The Lord is not about, oh, okay, you're an Israelite, you, you, you're out there teaching, and I'm going to save you, and I'm going to save you. No, it's not about that, you know? Hey, be happy that the Lord, the Heavenly Father, has mercy because uh, the scripture said all Israel shall be saved, but you're going to have to be destroyed first to come back into the kingdom. And that's mercy. That is, that is mercy, man, because the Lord could have just wiped you out, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord has that type of power where, you know, he's the father of spirits, the scripture says. So he can take your life away and, and take that spirit and actually destroy it forever as as if you never ever even existed man and that's power right there man that's the power that we got to give to our heavenly father man this is the power that we have man hey man that's our father you know he's our father the creator of the universe yahweh man and that's the power he has man that he can actually destroy your spirit if he wants to so when you think about all oh, Israel shall be saved, man, hey, man, that's mercy, man. That's mercy, brothers. You know, that is, that's the ultimate mercy. And the scripture talks about how his mercies are reborn daily. You know, they are reborn daily. The mercies of David, you know, that we should be asking. But all of this is going to be destroyed. And people don't even have a clue. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. The Bible is the most printed uh, book in the planet. You know? Number one book printed in the planet. You know? But the world is entirely in gross darkness, like the scripture says. Then you go into uh, the scriptures where uh, iniquity abounds and the, uh, 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 it multiplies. Once these devils, uh, during the Maccabees and Alexander the Great and all that, once they was uh, given power, you know, all evil started multiplying on the planet Earth. Then the scripture goes into uh, the Apocrypha. It talks about um, uh, uh, how much more now from the time of Adam to the time we're living in now. How much more sin and wickedness is on the planet Earth? And you can see it. You can see all the wickedness, man. All you got to do now is openly, man. You can just walk out the house, you know what I'm saying, and you can see it. You can turn on the news. You can watch a TV show. You go into a restaurant. You go in the bathroom. You, you go out to the mall. You go. You, you could be driving down the road. You know what I'm saying? You're always going to see some type of sort of wickedness. You're going to see some sodomites out there. You're going to see some, um, some moles. Like the elder to Harvey saying, Moles, you're going to see some Moles, you know what I mean? And, and, it's, and it's wicked. You know, this is the place that we actually live in. We in Babylon the Great. My feet are standing on Babylon the Great. You know? Now you're going to have parts of, of, of the earth, other lands on the earth that are not going to be utterly destroyed completely. But they're still going to get their judgment when Yahabashim Yahashah returns. You know what I'm saying? But this place, anything that's in here, anything that's walking, you know, is going to be destroyed. There's no escape. And that's scary, man. And the fear of Yahabashim Yahashah makes me push and push. You know, Baba Kashah Yahabashim Yahashah, man, that I could be in one of those chariots. You know, and if I offend you, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh, forgive me. Ask the Lord, eh? because you, we don't know we, what we're doing and we offended him. You know, we imperfect. 
Paul said this body is wretched, man. We, we This body is the chains of darkness, man. You know? So, hey, man, keep pushing. Be strong. All praises and glory goes to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash, Shalom, Babakarim, Shah, Yasharala, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Tawada Abba Yahweh, Tawada Abba Yahweh Shai, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Abba Nawa, Yahweh, Yahweh Ratzazah, that I'll be saved, Father, Tawada. Shalom, brothers.